going to ask you, sweetheart. I mean, most 10 year olds are busy playing with their friends, figuring out what they're going to do in terms of schoolwork um, during COVID. But here you are busy authoring your own book. Tell me why you decided that you wanted to write this book. Yeah, so about a year and a half ago, I went to India and I saw unfortunate some of the kids were, some of the kids were even coming up to me and my family trying to sell pens to us for money this way they could buy food. Yeah. And I found that really sad. And my grandfather runs a charity for young girls in India who don't have access to education. And what's so that charity called, sweetheart? It's called Positive and Progressive Educational Support Canada. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. And so basically the Charity provides the young girls in India with education, food, books, everything they really need. So the money I earned towards my book, Flamingo Fee, I'm giving it to that charity. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. You know, I mean, when I was 10 year old, all I could think about is, you know, how come I don't have a Barbie and I wanted to buy a Barbie doll? And here you are, you're changing the world. Um, kudos to you, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. For those of you who are just joining us, I am in conversation with Toronto-based 10-year-old author of Flamingo Feet, Shreya Gupta. She is an incredible young lady who, when she was in India, she felt that all of the poverty that she was seeing, especially in and around you know, children and girls, especially, she felt that she wanted to do her bit. So Writing this book really came from that. And what a testament to, you know, seeing something happening and making a decision to want to do something about it. Honestly, I, I just, you know, I want to be like you when I grow up. That's all I have <laughs> to say. <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit about what the key message is about mm -hmm. the book. Tell me about that, Shreya. Well, a key message for my book is to always have confidence and always chase your dreams and follow your heart no matter what anybody else says. Because so basically Aria, the main character in my book, um, her dream is to jazz dance. So she enters a jazz competition. But when some bullies call her flamingo feet, she drops out of the competition. But eventually she gains the confidence and overcomes what the bully says. So I think that's really the key message to always gain confidence no matter what anybody else says. Absolutely. And for those people, um, Shreya, who, you know, aren't confident for whatever the reason may be, any advice for them? Because you're definitely a confident young lady that you, you made a decision that I want to write this book because I want to help other girls who maybe don't have all of the fortunes that I have. Like, is there maybe one thing that you can share that you do that makes you feel confident? Well, you know, I've been bullied before too. I think, I'm sure everybody has. But what I really do is I think about, you know, that it doesn't matter what those bullies are saying. It doesn't matter what they think about me. It doesn't matter. Um, just chase, follow your heart, chase your dreams, no matter what. Oh my gosh, absolutely. They're just wise, wise words. Um... Just, I'm, I'm so excited about this book, um, Shreya. I, 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 you know, I wanted you on this very first Anoki Uncensored Live, just because, you know, I know the book is, you know, just newly released. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about, you know, where people can go to pick this book up, um, you know, in North America, and if it's available outside of North America as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you can buy the book everywhere, just online. So right now you can buy it on Barnes and Noble, um, soon to be on Indigo, and you can buy it on Amazon too. Awesome. So for all of you guys out there who um, are wondering what to do with your kids, um, go to Amazon, go pick up this book. This book um, not only is going to be great from an entertainment perspective and also to keep your kids busy, but it's also got a really key fundamental important message. And we all know with kind of the age of social media that all our children are going to be faced with all forms of very creative and innovative way of being bullied. So I feel that this book is going to be something that um, really needs to be shared with Every single child that's out there, go to Amazon, go to Barnes and Nobles. Please go and pick up this book while I continue having this conversation with Shreya. Shreya, let me ask you also this. Um, what do you want to accomplish for those 
who didn't get this answer at the top of our conversation. What do you want to accomplish with getting this book into people's hands? Well, you know, I hope to inspire as much people as I can, and I want to raise as much money as I can. Well, I mean, there you go in one sentence, folks. That's just a, a really, really, you know, um, awesome thing to want to do. But it's going to be even more awesome if you guys actually go online and go pick up this book. I know I'm going to absolutely make sure that I get a copy of this because when I was growing up, and I know a lot of women and men of my generation can say this, books like this, especially, you know, created by people from our community, they just didn't exist. So to have people like Shreya have kind of this insight that not only does she want to get a book out there, which is actually authored by a South Asian um, person, but it also has a very key fundamental message to help people in today's um, society. And I think that's kind of the real big important thing here. Shreya, I want to ask you something. I'm really curious, is this book going to kind of be like your standalone one book that you're going to do or are you thinking about doing a whole series of books right now it's a standalone book okay perfect so um i guess we we need to um coerce you into writing another one then don't we because <laughs> i know that I, that you know as soon as people get their hands on this book i know they're going to be very interested in knowing if there's going to be another one so maybe <laughs> what you want to do Sweetheart, is think about what other problems or challenges have you seen children go through, especially South Asians, because, you know, we have, you know, a lot of unique challenges um, being that, you know, we're from a very strong culture. And then, our, then if you're a girl that's in our culture, there's also a lot of other things that, you know, we're challenged with. So I would love for you to go back and maybe think about other ideas that you could put into a book as well, because I honestly feel that what you're doing here is really, really needed. It really, really is. So mm -hmm. let me just ask you a little bit about the journey of writing this book, because anyone who's ever written a book, getting it published, getting artwork, you know, getting the concept right, even as an adult, it's no easy feat. But here you are as a 10 year old, who I'm so proud of, and I'm so, so excited that you had kind of this idea to want to do this book. Tell me a little bit about the journey of having from the idea that you had when you went to India and your um, you know, family's charity to actually getting this book into Amazon. What did that journey look like? What were the steps? Well, we got the illustrations first, and then once everything was done, um, basically, we got the links for the book and it went on Amazon. Distribution took a bit of a long time, but yeah. it's going well. But um, those are a few challenges, but you know, my parents were always there to support me. They really supported me. But what really kept me going was that um, I thought of those kids in India who don't have anything. And when there was a rough time trying to publish the book, I just thought about that and how much struggles they've gone through. And I thought of those people, those people who don't have self-confidence. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And you know, sometimes that's all you need. You need to have that one thought in your head that just keeps you through, you know, the times that are difficult, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you did, which is awesome. Let me ask you another question. I want to know, because I'm really curious from your perspective, why do you feel that people bully? Well, this may not always be the case, but I think it's a really popular reason. Um, the bullies may not have self-confidence too, and some challenges may not may go on at home that are really sad sometimes. So then they bully other people to make themselves feel good. Right. Absolutely. My gosh, the fact that the fact that you're able to kind of hone in on knowing that you know, generally bullies themselves have issues that they're dealing with, which they then project out externally to other people to try and take the pressure off of, you know, the anxiety and the stress that they're dealing with. It's really, it's, it's awesome that, you know, you understand that and that you're sharing that message. Um, what does it mean to you? I'm so curious to being South Asian. What does it mean to you to be South Asian? Well, I really like being South Asian. You know, I feel like it's really special. Um, I like how there's lots of holidays. Um, 
Yes. And you know, my family, my family were, were really close and I really like that. But you know, I think every culture has something special about it. Absolutely. You're so right. And you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of what's being talked about right now by, you know, people from our culture um, on social media talks mostly about all the challenges that people have with the culture. Not that many people are really talking about all the amazing, fabulous things that, you know, are out there being South Asian. So you've just brought that to light and I'm so happy that you did because now you've got my mind thinking about all of the wonderful things that I grew up with that I never ever would have had if I wasn't a part of the South Asian community. So you're absolutely right. right. Being South Asian rocks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So talk to me also about being a girl. How do you feel about you know, what that means to you? Well, I really like being a girl and, you know, I feel really strong and confident. Um, really, really confident, I should say. Really strong, powerful, confident. And do you feel that, um, you know, there's people out there in the world, whether it be in your family or whether it be people that you've seen on TV or maybe you've, you know, read about that inspire you? Like, you know, and, and if so, like, can you maybe mention a couple of them? I'd love to know who mm -hmm. you admire. Well, I really admire my grandfather because, you know, he started the charity. Yeah. And I think that's really special. Absolutely. So are you mm -hmm. planning on um, following in his footsteps, Shreya? Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for, I can't wait for you to um, you know, start on that journey, which of course you already have with this book, which is wonderful. Folks, if you're just joining us, um, I am in conversation with the fabulous Toronto-based Shreya Gupta. She's a 10-year-old author. She's the author of Flamingo Feet, which is available in Amazon um, across North America, also in Barnes & Noble. So please log online, tell everybody you know to go grab this book. It's an important book. It's written by someone from our community, and it's about a very, very important topic that everybody suffers from or has suffered from or is going through right now, and that is bullying. So make sure that you do that, folks. I want to carry on having my conversation with Shreya because I am just getting so many fabulous insights from you, sweetheart. I want to ask you, because now we're really going deep, what do you think are the differences between you and boys um, or and maybe our culture and other cultures? Anything at all that comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think that my culture is better than anyone else's or that anybody's culture is better than mine. And, you know, same with our personalities and us. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't think anybody's better than me. I think we're all equal. We're definitely not all the same as we're all special and unique in our own ways. But it, does, it doesn't make anybody better than anyone or less better than anyone. Absolutely. Because different is cool. It's cool exactly. to be different because if everybody was the same, we'd have nothing to talk about, right? Exactly. Absolutely. So for those boys and girls out there who are being bullied for being different, what would you say to them? Well, I would tell them that it doesn't matter what those bullies are saying to you. Keep staying confident. Keep chasing your dreams. It's okay to like things in your own way. It doesn't matter what people say about it. You know, the bullies may call you weird, but you know, technically everybody's weird. There's no normal. So I, I would tell them that and that just chase your dreams. Stay confident. Hey, hey, I absolutely agree with you. And you know, honestly, from one weirdo, that's me to another weirdo, that's you. I think we're pretty cool, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> so what about the bullies, Shreya? Do you have a message for people who bully? Well, you know, if I saw a bully, I would just tell them that if you don't have anything nice to say, you really shouldn't say it. And if somebody said something like that to you, would you like it? But you know, I would not try and bully back, of course. I'm not trying to get angry back if they were bullying me I would actually try and like talk to them see maybe why they're bullying and try and help them and make them better people amen to that sweetheart thank you so so much for your um insightful conversation I've learned a thing or two and again I said this earlier on I'm going to say it again I want to be like you when I grow up 
Thank you so, so much for being a part of this show. Um, and, it, you know, just having this great, important conversation, which really is important. Mm -hmm. Folks, Flamingo Feet, brand new book out there on Amazon. Go pick it up. Go give it to everyone that you know out there. And if you're South Asian, you know you got to support this book, okay? This is a book that's by a South Asian 10-year-old young lady who had this idea that she did not want to see injustice happen out there and she wanted to do her part to make a difference in this world. She totally is my superhero. And on that note, Shreya, who's your superhero? Well, you know, I think my parents will always be superheroes to me, but I think my real favorite superhero is my grandfather because he started a charity. He's giving back. He may not have superpowers like you see in those movies or comics, but I think what he's doing is even more special than having superpowers because he's giving back. He started the charity, and I think that's really special. Absolutely. And I think that is the biggest superpower of them all, right, sweetheart, is to give back to people because you can right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being on, sweetheart. I really, really appreciate it. Thank and, you for you know, having I, me. Oh, it was such a pleasure. Trust me on that. Um, folks, again, go online. You've already heard me say it, Amazon, wherever you are in the world, go pick up Flamingo Feet, written by Shreya Gupta, a very, very brave, courageous, phenomenal young lady. And, um, you know, that's our first live. What an interesting, fabulous conversation that I just had. I felt like I was talking to someone that was a grown up. That's the absolute truth, sweetheart. Thank you so, so much for your time. And I hope that we can have you on again to talk about something else that's important to you. Would you come mm -hmm. back? Of course. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for being on, sweetheart. Thank Bye -bye. you for having me, Raj. Bye. Oh my, you're welcome, sweetie. You really are. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. Wasn't she just awesome? Oh my gosh. I'm reveling in the conversation. Thank you so much to Henna for coming on, for setting the stage for the conversation about bullying and for Shreya for showing how it's done how you can actually make a difference in this world. If there's any topic that you feel that you'd like us to cover, please DM us or send us an email to Anoki Uncensored at anokilife.com. Again, that's Anoki Uncensored at anokilife.com. Um, I was your host, blessed and humbled to be coming to you today with the inaugural live session of Anoki Uncensored. Thank you so, so much, folks. Um, this is me over and out. Mwah. Have a great day, morning, night, wherever you are. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.